What is up guys, it's your boy It's Lightning here. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys three beginner mechanics for you to master in Rocket League. And these are just for beginners because there are new players in Rocket League that do not know what they're doing. I had a recent encounter with one and he was asking me what to do, what to do. He didn't know what to put, how to play. So this gave me an idea to give out a video to show you guys three mechanics for new players to master. So let's get right into that. The first mechanic I'm going to be uh, recommending for you to uh, master is a wave dash. And as you just saw, that is a wave dash right there. And it's just a little mechanic just to give you momentum when you're rotating or trying to cut off the ball. And it's just a, basically a momentum mechanic to in case you have no boost and you need to get somewhere or you're out of boost you're trying to go get boost you can use it to basically just go faster so now how I'm gonna show you how to do this is when you're wave dashing you want to jump and the two this is for front this is a front wave dash your two back wheels you see how my two back wheels hit the ground first before I dash your two back wheels need to hit the ground and then you want to dodge forward so you know how you dodge forward like that you want to hit the ground dodge hit the ground dodge hit the ground dodge well that's how that's what happens when you don't hit the ground or you dodge early and this could be also be used with a back wave dash most people don't do back wave dashes but I mean you probably could you can you can definitely combine it with a mechanic, another mechanic in this list. But that's definitely how you do a wave dash. But if you want to do a side wave dash like I was doing, like this, a right, or you want to do a left, it's basically the same thing, just with a side wheel. So your two, if you want to wave dash right, your two left wheels need to hit the ground first. Then you wave, uh, then you dodge right. Vice versa, you want to wave dash left. Two right wheels hit the ground first. Then you want to dodge right, uh, left. So let's get on to number two. The number, two, the number, the second mechanic that I would recommend for beginners is a half flip. So a half flip is basically a pattern of moves to help you go backwards. So basically, you know, you're going backwards. It's not that fast. You can't see behind you and you it's really not faster than you boosting forward so say if you get into a tough situation and your teammate is in goal so you shot the ball he's in goal right here and you're the only one that can get the ball how you would go with this is you would first you gotta learn the steps so the first step is dodge backwards so basically learn how to dodge backwards pretty easy just jump hold back then a again jump hold back a again so make a basically backflip so then you want to learn how to stall so once your once your the bottom of your car is up in the air like this when you backflip you want to press up on the stick so once you do that you'll look like this so basically you'll interrupt the backflip and basically just stall in the air so then the third step is I would recommend you to bind air roll right or left to a button because it's kind of hard to do it with just normal air roll. So bind air roll left or right and once you stall, you want to air roll. So basically backflip, stall, air roll. So backflip, stall, air roll. And you don't want to make you don't want to do it too high like I just did. So right there. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so right there, because you want both wheels on the ground. You can combine it. Oh. Boom. So basically, it's just... It's, it's just a... And then once you get the motions down, you'll, you'll be perfect at doing it. And you can also do it reversed. Most people don't do it this way. It's just a cool party trick to do. So basically, you're backing up, boom, 
You're gonna roll, cut the person off, get the save. Oh, your friend thinks you're so good. Yada yada, and that's a really good mechanic to learn. Now the last and final mechanic, well it's basically not a mechanic, it's just a control that you guys do need to bind on your controller and to learn, and it's called drift. So basically a drift, most of you guys know what a drift is, so I'm not gonna explain that. But a drift, you wanna make a hard turn, you get the boost, boom, straight. So you're gonna rotate back post, boom, rotate back post. Uh, boom. So basically, again, you want to go to your settings, you want to go to controls, view, change, binds. Then it's called power slide. I have power slide and air rolled back to the same button. And I'll explain air roll to, I'll explain air roll and then uh, what's it called in another video because that's a completely owned mechanic by itself. But when you are drifting, you see how I'm not boosting, I am holding RT. When you do drift, you want to let go of RT because you get a sharper turn. So boom. And then once you get to where you want to go, just pull RT again. And it's basically, you don't have to do the wide turns. You can get the go, boost, go, get the boost, go, boom, save, get the boost, go, boom, shot double touch oh and you can definitely you most of you guys saw me doing it you can combine it with uh, power uh, half flip so you swing your car around and basically that gives you more momentum when you drift and power slide well guys those are good those are the three beginner mechanics that I would recommend beginners to learn. If you guys did like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe today if you want to see more content like this. Comment down below if you guys do have any other beginner mechanics that you would have other people learn. And uh, speaking of things in the next video, here's a comment from Lax video. You guys can read it yourself. I think that's a wonderful name for our community and I'm proud to have that community name so i'll see you guys in the next video peace